Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today, if the Rhino and we have some beers, they're back here behind me. So let's try some beers, eh? First and foremost, we're going to start with a beer from Blackburn Brewing Company, which is in Niagara Falls, Ontario. This is their After the Campfire Roche Beer. I've, I've been getting a bunch of Roche beers lately. A Roche beers are a... It's a smoked beer. It's a German-style smoked beer. Uh, well, it's a German style of beer. It's a smoked beer. And... Uh, there was not a lot of these on the market in, in Canada, in, well, at least in Ontario, for a very long time. And I think this is the fourth or fifth I've gotten in the last little bit, which is immense because there was like four or five of them, period, a couple years back. So um, we're looking at 5% alcohol by volume, 20 IBU. And, of course, it's in a 355 milliliter can instead of the big cans that are usually what Blackburn uses, which is probably good because a roast beer a lot of times is is very in-your-face, and I don't know if I'd want a 500 milliliter or 473 milliliter of it. I mean, I remember the uh, the the first ones I had, the ones right from Germany, the Eicht, whatever, and the Eyinger and all that, and those, those were pretty in-your-face. And uh, what do we got? Water, malted barley, smoked malted barley, hops, and yeast. Okay, let's try this, shall we? Yeah, we've talked enough. Okay, first and foremost, not as dark as I expect with a lot of Roche beers. A lot of Roche beers are more of a brownish color, the ones I've had, though. But that's a nice brassy color. Yeah, I guess more bronze, eh? Yeah, more of a bronze, uh, slightly ambered, big snap, crackle, pop. The head was slightly off-white. Scent out of the can. You know, not as in-your-face as I was expecting out of the can. There's a slight malty sweetness and a slight roastiness, but I wouldn't say there's, like, bacon or hickory or anything like that in there. Not that there... But you, you know what I mean. A lot of people, myself included, when you think smoked, you... When when a smoked scent hits your nose, a lot of times it's either a type of wood or it's a meat that my mind shoots off as my paradigm. And I don't get that from the can. Glass? Okay, the glass has kind of like a cherry wood scent to it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay, a little bit of a smokiness to this, a little bit, it's, it tickles at the back of the throat, it leaves a little bit of a tingle, it um, leaves a bit of a roasted, almost burnt sensation on the forefront of the tongue, sweet, caramel, and then roasty and smoky. That being said, if you are a big fan of Roche beer, if, you, if you've had a lot of Roche beers and you're waiting for that punch, you're not getting that from this. This is very subtle. If you've never had a Roche beer, After the Campfire is a good introduction to it. Uh, and that, it's a good beer. It is a good beer. But for the style, it's fairly tame. And that's perfectly fine. It's just a little odd. Um, I've always said since the beginning with Blackburn, though, uh, most of the beers they make are fucking solid beers that I have no complaints over. But usually they're not out there. They're not in your face. They're not overpowering. They're just solid drinkers. And this is a solid drinker. Out of 10 on that, that's easily a 775. That's a beer I could sit back and drink a bunch of. And I can't say that about a bunch of other Roche beers. I know there's Roche beers that I've given like 8 out of 10s and 9 out of 10s and even a 9.5 saying, oh my god, these taste amazing. And yeah, I would love to have hundreds of them and drink maybe one every week or so. But this is a Roche beer I can drink all the time. So it's not a 10 out of 10 because it doesn't blow me away, but it's, it's a 7.75 because it's a solid beer that I could drink. Cheers, guys. After the campfire. Thanks, Brian.